Yo, hello everyone. Are you a dentist looking to establish a strong online presence? A well-designed website can help you attract and engage new patients. In this video, we will walk you through the process of creating a WordPress website specifically for dentists. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First thing first, head up to your WordPress website. Second thing is choose the correct appearance for your website. So let's go to appearances, click on it, click on theme, and from here guys, all you have to do is click on add new. Then wait a little bit until it opens this page. Right here in this search bar, uh, dentist, and then wait a little bit until this page loads of so many kind of templates that has relation with dentist. So here you are, select any one of those. Of course, don't go for crypto coin. You are a dentist, don't forget about that. Uh, of course, you can choose it. You can literally choose it and change the images. And yeah, these are some images that you can go for uh, or like uh, website templates. In general, there is so many of them. You can even get some paid ones or get some free ones or get them from like an outsider that sells templates and you can upload the theme through this button over here as you can see here. So upload theme and then click on choose file and then upload it. For us now, I'm just going to stick with this VW dentist. I think it is pretty good and let's go for it. So click on install to install it. And then the next thing to do is activating it. So after it is installed, click on activate. Now just wait a little bit until it is activated successfully. It may take some time up to like two minutes maximum. And in case it is perfectly working, all you have to do is go over here, make sure that your team is working and yeah, go to the dashboard make sure that you don't need any kind of add-ons so as you can see this team recommend the following plugins so we have to add them so here we go click on it and then click on install now and now all you have to do is wait for it it is until it is fully installed so let's give it some time until it is installed and then we will continue so it will not take that long it is successfully installed now let's activate it and we are now ready to go. It is as simple as that. Now, let me just recognize this uh, plugin, which is called Eptana. And here we go. So these are Eptana settings. Here you have everything about Eptana, literally everything. Let's check the home page, how it looks like with this new template. And as you can see, this is it. This is how it looks like. What you can do now is start by adding, for example, uh, here we can just choose posts and make sure that all the posts are not uh, connected with the main page. Uh, the second thing that we have to do is add like a banner over here, which is going to contain an image of our dentist uh, and stuff that we have, etc. And we will add also some kind of appointment stuff to help us manage our appointments. So these are all going to be in case you don't know plugins. First of all, we need a website builder. In our case, we are going to use Elementor. So click on add new and then search for Elementor. Here we go. And then download the first plugin that will appear for you, which is this one. Click on install and then activate it. The second thing is um, a sidebar or like image or like slide it depends on what you call it we are going to use a slider image so there is many of them smart slider slide anything much of them i'm going with smart slider here we go install now and for the next thing that we will need to do is add some kind of appointment plugin that will help us make our appointments very easily and more effectively so you can have even more patients than usual so let's activate first this mod slider and then let's search for our appointment plugin that we are going to look to work with so add new and then click on here search for appointments 
and then all you have to do is choose the correct plugin for you. So here there is WordPress Wonder Form, Next Tiny Date, and simply Google Calendar Outlook Events Block Widgets. In case you didn't like one of them, you can just go for Ninja Form. And this plugin can actually make a form where you can actually try to make it as an appointment. You can simply click here and then click on install now. Now all you have to do is wait a little bit until it is installed the same as other plugins and then reactivate it. So these are the main plugins that we are going to base on. Of course you can add other ones to make your website more faster and yeah, there is so many of them. So let's keep up with those five or four plugins that we have installed. Now we activate this one and we will be ready to go with our video. So activate it and here we go. So now guys, we have all the plugins necessary for our website. Now what you will have to do is simply make your website looks better. So go to posts or go to pages, all pages and design the front page. The home page is the one that will get you the most visitors. So make sure it is looking nice and beautiful. The first thing that we can do is add a sidebar or a slide bar. So if I went here to my WordPress dashboard and went to the slide bar settings, let me just do that real quick. Here we go. Um, it should be here, plugins, here into the start plugins, active and let's search for the slide bar so it's going to be somewhere around here smart let's search for smart here we go smart as you can see here analyze and repair if you want to analyze or repair it everything is here working fantastically so let's make sure it is not here somewhere so we cannot miss it here it is, slice, uh, yep, it is here, smart slide bar. Go to the dashboard, don't show again, and from here you can start making the slide bar that you are looking for. So the slide bar is basically something like this, as you can see here. So many images that you can click right or left and make them swap. So you can put here whatever image you'd like and add it and it will be appearing in this page you can even find it as i think in here so smart slider you can add it so let me just add the section smart slider and simply here you will start adding your template so insert as you may see and here it is so this is how it will look like and of course you will have to add a main menu and when you are done with everything from here you will have to make a form which your people are going to actually start ordering appointments from. So here we are going to use Ninja Forms. Ninja Form will create your form so you can uh, ask people for whatever information you'd like. For example, their name, their address, etc. So add new. Here there is so many things. So I'm going to um, choose, for example, event registration. They are important now informations and then when they give you all the things that you need for so this is a template that you can work on you can literally change everything and then publish it and it will be published through this form you will get to know where people are coming when are they coming and will you be able to fix their problem or not <coughs> and that's it so yeah guys that's how you can actually make a website for dentists Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye bye.